You, you date older guys, you date younger guys, um, you know, what the hell? You learn a little something, and you can kind of dial in what it is you like. What kind of guy do you like? Mm, intelligent and sexy and, uh -huh. and uh, good I'm looking. Out. All right, well, yeah. okay. <laughs> I'm out. You like a guy with a lot of hair on his ass and a deviated septum? Sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> Julie, you're yep. 22. Yep. You attracted to the doctor at all, Tiffany? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's a good-looking guy. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm now not only the Hi, stupid honey. one, but the uh, ugly one, by the way. <laughs> you call him Tiffany Honey now? No, I'm talking to my wife. <laughs> you're going to get the beating of your life when you get home. Yeah. Don't worry. Julie. Yep. What's Hi. going on there? Um, I actually, I've been with, um, I've been with this guy for about two and a half years. Um, I love him very much. It's my, it's my first real relationship. All the other ones before that were like six weeks. And, um, he's the first guy I've ever, I've ever had sex with. And, um, it's always been great. Um, but lately for some reason my sex drive has just gone down. I'm not, I don't think I'm as attracted to him, but I mean, I, I love him so much. And it's not that I don't enjoy sex. I just don't Slow orgasm. Slow down. What's going on here? Are you nervous about being on the radio? Very. <laughs> okay. Uh, otherwise, you are you kind of an anxious person, or uh, a little type A, you know. Hmm. Um, I have like three jobs, four classes. You're not any medication or anything like that. Oh no. And no. Y you're just saying you're not attracted to this guy, even though you really like him. I'm not as attracted to him as, as I as I was. He's he's not an extremely attractive guy. I mean, he's not. He's a great guy. He's like sweet and sensitive. Well, you got to be nice when you're ugly. Well, why don't you he's make... He's not ugly. He's just, he's, uh, he's yeah, overweight but, and, yeah. I don't know, I mean, whatever. He's not the most attractive guy, but... But, but maybe, maybe it's... Has he put weight on? Has he changed? No. That's okay. the thing. He hasn't changed. And, you know... But I, I, I bet you, that's the point. I think Adam's making a good point, is that yeah. this is the same guy you were attracted oh. to when you felt differently about him. That maybe some of the intensity of the feelings are dying off, and now it's uh, easy for you to, to be more realistic and react to his uh, appearance. And but, I hate, I hate to see the breakup over an appearance, but I just it just sounds generally like you're just not into this relationship, just in general. But the thing is, I am into the relationship. Like, I love him very much, and, and we spend a lot of time together, and I have mm. a great time with him. And I still, like, I still care about, like, every, I mean, there's nothing about him that I don't like, except for some reason sex isn't as good lately. Like, I just, I feel mm. good. I just don't orgasm. And Listen, I, um, you were just saying that you weren't very attracted to him. I'm not as attractive. Uh, and I, okay, and I, that, that's a, that's, uh, let me explain. Attraction is what separates uh, me, my and Drew's relationship, or my and Anne's relationship, uh, with uh, Drew and his wife, right. or uh, me and Drew's wife, or uh, <laughs> Drew's wife and the nanny. Oh, I'd like to see that relationship. But uh, wow. this is the point. This is, this is the missing ingredient. It's right. the attraction thing. Because, uh, and, and for women particularly, that has a strong emotional component to it. Anne's got a look on, like, Anne's got that, uh, I think I should be pissed, look, but I'm not quite sure. I just caught the tail end of that one. No, I mean, uh, I mean, everybody has friends, male and female. Everyone has working relationships. Friends the that they whole, love. Uh, friends that they love and they do anything for. Yeah, but I'm completely in love with him. Like, I can't imagine breaking I, up with him. I, I, I understand you can't imagine breaking up, but we are getting the sense that you're not as into it and you're awfully defensive about even the notion of breaking it off. And I think if you just think realistically about what it would be like to break up and what you really want from a relationship and see if that's maybe not the direction you want to go. How long have you been with him? Four years. No, two, two and a half. Two years, I'm sorry. Two years since the only guy you've been with. Yeah. And uh, Tiffany, you've only been with one guy? Uh, yeah. But I mean, like, our sex <laughs> life isn't boring. Like, all different positions. Right. Like, I, I mean, okay. it's not boring. It, the, the, your sex isn't boring, but you're bored. A little. Yeah. I mean, on film, it'd be exciting. She admitted it. She admitted. I'll guess. All right, Julie, you're having these feelings, which uh, are the feelings that come when the relationships uh, wind down, and it, and it happens. I mean, listen, I'm not putting a curse on it. You can go ahead and sort it out. But people get together when they're 19. Uh, they've never been with anyone else. Now it's two and a half years later, and it's... Things wind down. Things have a uh, natural cycle. I mean, most people go through a number of relationships in their life before they uh, end up with uh, the one long-term one. But it's so painful when they're in one of these to acknowledge right. that and then to realize what it means. It's very painful. So you'll do everything you can not to really come to grips and admit to yourself what's going on. Right. But I think we're all picking up on the fact that that is what's going on here. I would, uh, I would say, Drew. Why don't we sell the hell out of the next call? Well, I'm going to have to change it then. Why? Uh, 